Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I'm going to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Oculus, pushing his word in sincerity and truth. Back with another story. All right. And this lesson and this story is from uh, NBC News. And it says, a group of men disrupt drag queen story hour at California Library. All right, so we're gonna play this video, grab a couple scriptures, because man, uh, this place is going for broke, man. The normality of of wickedness is what they're trying to make uh, common out here. All right, they're trying to make uh, these wicked things very, very common, very, very normal, to the point where if you speak up or say something. Uh, about it that it's wrong you're the bad guy all right and that's uh that's the time we're living in all right hey okay, so just get ready to see more uh, abominations more evilness more wickedness and uh, they're going to display it and talk about it as though it's a good thing so let's go right into it what was supposed to be a quiet reading time with drag queen panda dulce ended like this did you guys call the cops it was stormed by eight proud boys um, who disrupted the event the incident occurred saturday and witnesses who wanted to stay anonymous say the group that disrupted the event was acting aggressively and yelling offensive slurs against the lgbtq plus community you know they came in and they were screaming about like pedophilia and saying things like we have to save the children and i mean they were terrifying the children because people are <laughs> I fed up, man. All right. You even got, you know, these people that on here that look like Edomites, even they are fed up. That's how you know we're we're at the end of this thing. And you're gonna have guys like these Proud Boys really go against the officials, politicians, and the government for allowing uh, these things to go on. Cause Esau versus Esau is a big uh big part of the the, the, the end uh the end time scenario. All right. It's a big it's a big part of the end time scenario him going against each other all right because he know his kingdom uh is about to end so as wickedness increases all right you're gonna even have edomites trying to fight against it but it's gonna be to no prevail all right but the way they talk about it is though there's <laughs> to have a drag queen sitting up in a library a public library somewhere uh reading stories to children is is, is 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 insane all right why not have a chip chip and dale dancer hey why not have have a lady from the local uh, strip club all right it's just you can't even uh articulate how wild this is and how normal uh nbc news is talking about it as though uh <laughs> these guys that went up there and, and protested was was in the wrong but let's keep going the performer, Panda Dulce, didn't feel comfortable going on camera either. But in a statement, she says she immediately froze. And the first thoughts that came across her mind, is it an ambush? Are they armed? And the massacre in Uvalde, Texas. That's when she says she realized they were defenseless. Library staff say the men wouldn't leave and their rhetoric was escalating. So they called the sheriff's office immediately. We removed the performer from the room and to the back. And then we invited the parents and children to exit the room as well. But even after going through all of that, both the performer and the staff felt very strong about continuing with the reading event. So they ended up covering up all of the open windows with anything they could find just to help the families feel more comfortable. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office says a hate crime investigation is now underway as well as an investigation into the annoying and harassing of children deputies want to assure the community that as people celebrate pride month deputies will be swift in their response <laughs> oh man uh yeah them guys might get charged with a, a, a hate crime man for coming against the alphabet brigade but this is this is the times we living in as in hey, hey what more can you say Let's go into the book of Isaiah 29 and start at 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So the elites, the people in control, 
the ones that's running the society, uh, they want this agenda pushed out there. And, you know, I've been did I did a couple videos about this topic because now it's 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 almost uh, inescapable. It's every literally everywhere. All right. You're on YouTube, the, the commercials, the videos, the ads got it in there. You turn on the TV. It's in there. It's on there. You go to the library. <laughs> they sit in there reading story time. All right. So you are surrounded by wickedness and all in the same time people look at you as though you got the problem if you talk about it you got you got a problem if you worry about it because most people will say just uh, mind your own business but what you don't understand this is how uh, you basically destroy you know you destroy people like that man all right, you go back into the ancient world, you go back with the Israelites, and once you had one, two, three people going off, that spreads. All right, you got people going against, uh, you know, the law, statutes, commandments, that spreads. It says a, a little leaven, leaven of a whole lump, as the scriptures say. So when you have, you know, <laughs> the country pushing this, what, what do you think is going to happen, man? Eh? But all through the spirit, this is what's needed for this place ultimately to be brought down. All right, let's keep going. Response to any threats toward this community. Both Panda Dulce and staff believe what happened here was a part of something bigger. It may have been linked to things even beyond the city or nationally um, in response to the Drag Queen Story Hour movement. The same night of the Drag Queen Story Hour. The Drag Queen Story Hour movement. Come on. I don't even know. What is this? Our event, a truck full of masked men believed to be part of a white nationalist group was arrested near an Idaho Pride in the Park event. They are charged with conspiring to riot. I was deeply, deeply disturbed. These incidents have pushed the community to come. <laughs> and it's finna go down, man. Hey, through the spirit, it's finna go down. Esau is gearing up. Uh, you got the powers that be protecting these uh misfits and you're gonna you you're about to have that class it's gonna be a civil war all right not just because it is but uh this is gonna be one of the main factors you're gonna have that because of the money's gonna lose its value people aren't gonna be able to eat food uh you know food shortages right energy prices so on and so forth this thing is coming to a head all right let's grab another scripture it says, uh, actually, let me finish this out. Isaiah 29, 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall it be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Right? So, we know Esau, Edom, hey, he's the devil, man. It, it ain't no getting out of it. Even though the devil is going to fight against itself at the end time. And like I said, that's prophecy. All right? That's prophecy. Uh, let's keep going. Let's get Job 10 and 22. It says, A land of darkness is darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is is darkness. And that's where uh, we're living in, man. All right? A land of darkness, mystery Babylon. All right? And this goes for all the other Western powers that push this agenda, man. This is, this is a very heavy spirit in the earth right now, not just because it's this month. But this is an ongoing thing, man. All right? These people are going to become even more emboldened. Like I say, a modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah. And when you read in the scriptures, Sodom and Gomorrah served as an example of how places should never be run or let, to, or let happen. All right? That much wickedness, uh, you know, grow to that level. But we know uh, this place will be taken down because the scriptures say so. And this uh, alphabet brigade in spirit it's just one of the many things why this place will be taken down. Uh, this is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the, of the man that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And this thing is an abomination, man. All right? An abomination. <laughs> Hell no. 
your kid go to the library and he has to see that. But we're in such a land of darkness. You got the parents taking their kids and sticking them in front of this thing to normalize it and say, hey, when you grow up, you know, you know what? You know what, Timmy, you can be just like <laughs> you can be just like this, 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 this queen up there. Right. Uh, reading the story, man. It's simply insane, man. It's, it's almost. Uh, it's so ridiculous. You got a loss of words for it. All right. Let's finish this video. Come out and show their support with signs and messages of solidarity. I wanted to show up today to uh, show support to the library and let the community know we won't stand for that here. The library says nothing is stopping them from celebrating Pride Month. But Panda Dulce says this incident and others are now pushing okay. organizers to look at security measures, even at events like this meant for children and families. In San Lorenzo, Stephanie Magallon, NBC. So that's meant for children and families. That's meant for children and families. It, it's almost like uh, we're in the twilight zone, man. <laughs> we're in the twilight zone. Because this is even, this is a new low for even a mystery Babylon, man. You know? I had posted the, uh, uh, the photo that was, uh, they had had them stripping at uh some place in dallas texas they were stripping and they had the kids putting dollar bills in their g-strings man and parents in the back laughing and yucking it up uh, it's, it's hey we're at the end if you can't feel this and see this uh and see it that this is the time i don't know what to tell you man you're not in the spirit you're not signing crying and you don't want to change man and you don't want destruction and judgment to come ultimately so let's finish this off. Actually, I got two more. This is Revelation 18 and 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Right? So a destruction is coming. Right? And if I continue to read, it's going to tell her reward her double. This place is going to be taken out in a horrific fashion. And call Haloyam Yahabashim Yahushua for that, man. This place has to be taken out. You see? This wickedness is just at an all-time point that it's like, what more can you do? <laughs> but we know what's coming, man. A collapse of the system, right? And then that uh, that 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 implantable chip to bring in that that beast, that mark of the beast system. Uh, let's get this Isaiah three and nine. The show of their countenance doeth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. And that's just uh, hey, that's just what it is, man. There's nothing left for these people but destruction and death. And that's exactly a hey, what the God of the Bible, right? Yahweh Yahweh is going to bring. Period. But that's the point. I'm going to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh Shai and Shalom next time.